Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. On December 15th, National Geographic announced this year's five biggest environmental wins, which include great feats of conservation, a few surprising global advances, and some noteworthy trends. First off, for the first time, installation of new renewable electricity outpaced growth in fossil fuel generating capacity. Second, dam removal funds have increased. Third, Barack Obama conserved more land or water this year than any president in American history. Fourth, this year saw an astounding degree of international stewardship in preserving the world's oceans. Lastly, the U.S. State Department announced that nearly 200 countries had agreed that beginning in 2019, the world would begin eliminating the use of long-lasting refrigerants, or hydrofluorocarbons. Let's hope 2017 brings even more environmental achievements. The annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union, the largest earth science gathering in the world that took place last Wednesday, was a call to action. California's governor, Jerry Brown, addressed the scientists, telling them, quote, The time has never been more urgent or your work ever more important. The danger is definitely rising. Scientists were urged to speak up for scientific integrity in the midst of an uncertain government. One climate scientist remarked that, quote, Trump's leadership will have a chilling effect on environmental and science policy no matter what. A worst case scenario would be an effort to undermine the scientific infrastructure of the country. China, the world's largest market for both legal and illegal ivory, is set to announce when it will close its legal ivory carbon factories, 18 months after pledging to act. In a bilateral announcement with the U.S. in July, China pledged to set a timeline for the phase out of its market by the end of this year. In the country, ivory carving is designated as intangible cultural heritage. According to Zhou Fei, head of the China program at Wildlife Trade Watchdog Traffic, the preparation for the domestic ivory trade ban is underway. Most of the legal ivory vendors are developing alternative business. The ivory price of both legal and illegal ivory products has dropped. Researchers at the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have reinvented and modified sawdust previously sawmill waste, to make it attract oil and float. These characteristics make it ideal for cleaning oil spills in the icy, turbulent waters of the Arctic. Just a thin layer of the non-toxic material can absorb up to five times its weight in oil and stays afloat for at least four months. In the coming months, PNNL microbiologist George Bonheo and his team will further evaluate this chemically modified sawdust before actually being used to clean up oil spills. Environmental groups have called Donald Trump's choice of Rex Tillerson as Secretary of State an epic mistake and accused the president-elect of creating a government of, by, and for the oil and gas industry. Rex Tillerson is the outgoing chairman and CEO of oil giant ExxonMobil. Although Tillerson has acknowledged that climate change is real, he claims society would be able to adapt to it. During his time as chief executive of ExxonMobil, the company endorsed a carbon tax and stated its support for the Paris Climate Agreement. But Tillerson has said that until there are major breakthroughs in green technologies, the world is going to have to continue using fossil fuels, whether they like it or not. That's all for this week's environmental news report. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help promote environmental awareness. See you next week.